Our learning intention for this video is that we will understand pH and pOH calculations and what they're representing. Now I just want to consider this equation for a second because sometimes it's not that we will have the concentration of our hydroxide or our hydronium ions, sometimes we will be given the pH and we'll need to work backwards to work out what is the concentration of the hydroxide or the hydronium or hydrogen ions. So what is the reverse of this? Like how do we get from here to work out the concentration? And the answer to that is that the concentration is equal to 10 to the power of the negative pH value. And in the same way, if we have this, in the same way, the concentration of the hydroxide ions is equal to 10 to the negative pOH value. So let's try this example. In this one, we're asked to calculate the concentration of the hydrogen ions and the concentration of the OH or the hydroxide ions in a solution that has a pH of 12.4. First off, let's do the concentration of the hydrogen ions. So we can use this formula here. We're given the pH. So what we're going to put into our calculator is 10 to the power of negative, what the pH value is, 12.4. Now the second half of that question is to calculate the concentration of the hydroxide ions. Now we're not given pOH, we're given pH, but remember we can convert that. So knowing that our pH and our pOH equals 14, we can do 14 minus 12.4, which is going to give us our pOH value. And that is, 1.6. So our pOH value is 1.6. Now we can use the similar equation to this, but this time we're doing the concentration of the hydroxide ions will be the equivalent of 10 to the minus pOH.